Hello everyone. So now we are going to uh, discuss about uh, sideline hold. Now I really like sideline hold also uh, besides cross cradle hold because you know when you go in the hospital lot of these mothers you know have had C section in fact cesarean section has the rate has gone up uh, remarkably so many mothers have cesarean section and you know many mothers they had stitches uh, even with vaginal delivery and they are in pain sometimes they are tired you know. So I do not insist that on day one that mother has to learn cross cradle you know cross cradle can yes cross cradle need to be learned before they go home you know because it is a little bit uh, kind of little bit more difficult this thing but once mother understand what to do it's they they love that cross cradle hold but in sideline hold again the concept is same where mother is sleeping okay and mother is on the side so she's sleeping on the side and then baby is basically being brought you know uh, in a, again in a this position okay so here mother is sleeping and baby is coming literally in this position so again remember the concept put the baby little bit lower down okay not right not facing so that the neck is little bit extended forward okay because if you if you bring the baby directly on the breast on the nipple then what will happen the neck will be straight okay and again with neck straight it will be difficult to swallow again when you try to swallow and the neck is straight it will be a little bit difficult so try to kind of extend the neck so in that position you want to make sure that you know baby is kind of little bit downward you know keep the pull the baby's leg little bit downward okay and then extend the neck a little bit and the same way you have to figure out where the baby's upper lip and lower lip are and you tell the mother to kind of uh, you know uh, press the breast in that direction where the lips are okay and then in uh, sideline hold actually if you look at the video we have shown that first what hand to use then what hand to use and uh, in that uh, sleeping position where, where should this hand should go what should be the angle over here you know uh, how mother should support baby's back all this step by step we have taught. So sideline hold do watch it 2-3 times because you know it is kind of little bit tricky you know uh, to and we have made it kind of point by point so that you know mothers do not miss any uh, important aspect ok. So thank you so much and enjoy. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on side lying hold for breastfeeding. In this tutorial we will learn choosing the correct breastfeeding hold for a mother and her baby, mother's preparation before breastfeeding and how to do the side lying hold. Let us begin. Across the world mothers breastfeed their babies using various types of holds. As discussed in an earlier tutorial, the best breastfeeding hold for a mother and her baby is the one in which both mother and baby are comfortable for the entire duration of breastfeeding. The baby is able to attach deeply to the mother's breast and get sufficient milk. Let us learn about a new hold called the side lying hold. This hold is recommended when the mother is breastfeeding at night or when the mother has had a caesarean section delivery or when the mother is tired. Before feeding her baby, the mother must wash her hands with soap and water and dry her hands properly. Then she should drink a glass of boiled and cooled water. Lactating mothers produce 750 to 850 milliliters of milk per day on an average. Therefore, they need to increase their daily water intake. Next, mother should uncover the breast from which she wants to feed the baby. She should ensure not to put pressure of her bra or blouse on the breast. Next, the mother should lie down comfortably on the side of the breast that she will feed from. She should keep a pillow under her head and a pillow between her legs to avoid rolling over in her sleep. The mother in this picture will be feeding her baby from her right breast. Therefore, she is lying on her right side. Next, let us learn how to position baby's body correctly. Place the baby on her side such that her stomach is gently pressed by the mother's body. The mother should support her baby's back with the hand on the side that she is lying on. 
The mother in this picture is supporting her baby's back with her right hand. The mother can place a pillow behind her baby's back to hold her close to her body. Lesser distance between their bodies will reduce the baby's effort to reach the breast and it will become easier for the baby to attach deeply to the breast. Remember, the mother should never bring the breast to the baby by bending her back. This will increase the distance between the baby's stomach and mother's body. She should always keep her back straight and bring the baby to her breast. The second important point is the direction in which the baby's entire body is held. You may have noticed that when we eat food, our head, neck and body are always in the same direction. Similarly, baby's head, neck and body should always be in the same direction while breastfeeding. This will make swallowing milk easier for the baby. Now, we come to the third point in positioning the baby's body. Mother should support the baby's back with her hand. Otherwise, the baby will have to take a lot of effort to attach deeply to the breast. Next, let's look at the position of the baby's nose and chin. Baby's nose should be in line with the nipple. And her chin should be forward and very close to the breast. This will ensure that the baby takes in more of the lower part of the areola while latching and therefore will use the lower jaw to drink more milk efficiently. Please note, areola is the dark area around the nipple. Now that the baby is held correctly, let us learn how to hold the breast. Using the fingers of the hand that is free, the mother should cup her breast from the side in a C-shape hold. The mother in this picture will use her left hand to hold her right breast. The fingers holding the breast should always be in the direction of the baby's lips. Why? Let's understand this using a simple example. When we eat a vada pav or burger, our lips open horizontally. We hold the vada pav or burger horizontally to take a big bite. Here, the thumb and fingers are placed in the direction of the lips. If we hold the vada pav or burger vertically, we won't be able to take a big bite. Similarly, observe the direction of the baby's lips. The lips are horizontal here. Therefore, mother's fingers and thumb should also be placed horizontally on the breast. This will help the baby to take a big part of the lower areola in her mouth. In addition to being in the direction of the baby's lips, mother's thumb and fingers should always be at a distance of three fingers from the nipple. Again, while eating a vada pav or burger, if we hold it too close, our fingers will block our mouth from taking a big bite. If we hold it too far away, it will not be shaped correctly to fit in our mouth. Therefore, we hold it at the right distance to take a big bite. Similarly for the baby, the right distance is of three fingers from the nipple as shown in this picture. This distance will ensure that mother's fingers do not block the baby from taking the lower areola in her mouth. Mother does not compress only the nipple which will give very little milk. Mother compresses the larger milk ducts beneath the areola to express more milk out and the breast is shaped correctly to help the baby attach deeply. Let's go back to the example of vada pav or burger. After holding the vada pav or burger correctly, we always press it 
to take a big bite. Similarly, the mother should lightly press her breast in a C-shape hold from the side. This will help the baby to take a big part of the breast in her mouth. But remember, mother should not press her breast in a Caesar shape hold. Caesar shape compression will pinch the breast and cause nipple feeding. Also, make sure that there is equal compression of the breast with the thumb and the fingers. Otherwise, the nipple will shift either in the upward or downward direction. And the baby will not be able to attach deeply to the breast. Now the baby is in the side lying hold and ready to attach to the breast for breastfeeding. Correct attachment of the baby to the breast is explained in another video in the same series. As soon as the baby is attached deeply to the breast, mother should release the breast from her hand. She should use this hand to hold the baby's back and keep the baby close to her body. Also, she should move her other arm from the baby's back and keep it at 90 degrees to her body. She should bend the elbow of that arm, then she should tuck that hand under the pillow. The mother in this picture has released her right breast from her left hand she is using her left hand to hold the baby's back and keep the baby close to her body. She has moved her right hand from the baby's back. She has kept it at 90 degrees to her body. Her right elbow is bent. Her right hand is tucked under the pillow. After feeding from the first breast, if the mother wants to feed from her other breast, then she will have to lie down on the other side. The mother in this picture has turned to her left side to feed from her left breast. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Hello everyone. So now we are going to discuss about uh, laid back hold. Many mothers they like laid back hold. Uh, and these are the mothers who have kind of access to privacy, they have you know say reclining chairs, they have a lot of these gadgets you know where they can kind of use to kind of make her feel comfortable. So in uh, sometime you know what happens is uh, mothers are really tired. So we do recommend laid back hold you know if mothers are tired and they want to relax. So in that laid back hold what we do is we tell mothers to basically you know to take a reclining chair or even the bed she can put two or three pillows or even those uh, round pillows and then she can basically relax okay like this not completely recline completely kind of in a back supine position but more in a reclining position and then baby can come on her you know uh, this way in this position this is called uh, laid back hold and then you know similar concept of babies coming straight on just like a football hold but in football hold baby was kind of held under the armpit here baby is uh, you know kind of resting on mother's body and just make sure that the nose is not higher up uh, on the nipple just a little bit lower and in this position what happens is uh, you know because uh, the gravity helps so baby automatically opens a big mouth okay so because baby's uh, mother is much more laid down than what I am in this position and because see baby is kind of downwards right so automatically baby opens a big mouth and uh, have a good latch so you do not even have to hold the breast if you want to hold the breast uh, that is fine but many times and you know, even if you do not hold that uh, gravity really helps baby to open the mouth and have a good lower irregular latch okay so this is your laid back hold and uh, do remember to understand the concept of how to kind of you know bring the baby extend the neck you know all those important points uh, and thank you so much welcome to the spoken tutorial on laid back hold for breastfeeding in this tutorial we will learn choosing the correct breastfeeding hold for a mother and her baby mother's preparation before breastfeeding and how to do the laid back hold let us begin. Across the world, mothers breastfeed their babies using various types of holds. 
as discussed in an earlier tutorial the best breastfeeding hold for a mother and her baby is the one in which both mother and baby are comfortable for the entire duration of breastfeeding the baby is able to attach deeply to the mother's breast and get sufficient milk let us learn about one of the holds called laid back hold laid back hold is recommended when deep attachment of the baby to the breast is difficult using cross cradle or cradle hold or if the mother has big breast or if the mother has back pain or when the mother is tired before feeding her baby the mother must wash her hands with soap and water and dry her hands properly then she should drink a glass of boiled and cooled water lactating mothers produce 750 to 850 ml of milk per day on an average therefore they need to increase their daily water intake next mother should uncover the breast from which she wants to feed the baby she should ensure not to put pressure of her bra or blouse on the breast then the mother should lie down comfortably on the floor or on a bed her head neck and upper back should be well supported by pillows now that the mother is ready let us learn how to hold the baby correctly mother should hold her baby's body with the hand on the side of the breast that she will feed from She should hold the lower part of her baby's head with the thumb and fingers of her other hand. The mother in this picture will be feeding her baby from her right breast. Therefore, she is using her right hand to hold the baby's body. She is using the thumb and fingers of her left hand to hold the lower part of her baby's head. Next let us see the correct position of mother's thumb and fingers for holding the baby's head Mother's thumb should be behind one ear and rest of the fingers behind the other ear of the baby She should not move her fingers or thumb from behind the ear to the baby's neck She should not apply pressure on the back of the baby's head with her hand This will keep the baby comfortable while feeding. Next, let us learn how to position the baby's body correctly. The baby should be placed on the mother's body in such a way that baby's stomach is on the mother's stomach and the baby's head is near the mother's breast. Lesser distance between the baby and the breast will help the baby to reach the breast. and it will become easier for the baby to attach deeply then the second important point is the direction in which the baby's entire body is held you may have noticed that when we eat food our head neck and body are always in the same direction similarly baby's head neck and body should always be in the same direction while breastfeeding This will make swallowing milk easier for the baby. Remember, the baby can be positioned on the mother's body in any direction as long as the whole front part of the baby's body is placed on the front part of the mother's body and the baby can reach the breast easily. Now we come to the third point in positioning the baby's body. the mother should support the full body of her baby otherwise the baby will have to take a lot of effort to attach deeply to the breast next let's look at the position of the baby's nose and chin baby's nose should always be in line with the nipple and her chin should be forward and very close to the breast This will ensure that the baby takes in more of the lower part of the areola while latching and therefore will use the lower jaw to drink more milk efficiently. Please note areola is the dark area around the nipple. 
Now, the baby is in laid back hold and ready to latch on for breastfeeding. In this hold, the baby can naturally attach deeply to the mother's breast. Deep attachment of the baby to the breast is explained in another video of the same series. As soon as the baby is deeply attached to the breast, mother can release the baby's head from her hand and use both her hands to support the baby's body. In this position, the mother should lie back, relax and breastfeed. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.